Hey folks, welcome back to DDS2. Uh, totally not re-recording this because I rambled for 40 minutes. Uh, <laughs> so, we're back and uh, we've got a new update, 1.0.7. Uh, as you can see, the uh, boss's desk, chemistry table, uh, DIY table and the lab tech table are all upgraded. Um, and the villa is uh, now a thing, uh, the private island. Now, let me show you a problem with the private island real quick, and it's a problem that makes sense, but I think it's still stupid. There is no parking spot on that fucking island, which means you're stuck going, sp like, fucking going in a very slow fucking boat from either there all the way down and round and over, from there, all the way down and over. Or from there, all the way down and over. Or, if you've got that villa there, you're going all the way down and over. There is no efficient way to get anything you fucking need, like supply-wise, right, over to this villa. There is just not an efficient way to do it. Any decent... Any boat that has any decent size of storage is dog shit fucking slow. So, it will take you fucking ages. Um, and considering how much of a pain in the ass a lot of the uh, ingredients and recipe requirements are to get, you are going to be spending a fucking shit ton of time just staring out into the fucking water Waiting for your fucking boat to go from here to here to here to here to here to here and on and on and on. Um, and, you know, God forbid you need to go like up to the farming store or the farm shop, for instance. Let's say you need a shit ton of fertilizer. That's all the way down, 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 round, all the way over. Like, it, it's a pain in the ass, uh, like, enough to get a whole bunch of shit, even with an off-road with a touch, which, like, this has got a decent amount of storage, right? Like, that's good. That has the more storage of any car that I'm aware of. And even with that, it is a pain in the ass to get shit and to get the ingredients you need and the materials to actually make all of the, uh, all of the shit. Uh, it, it, it's a pain in the fucking ass, and it is not worth it. Straight up. Uh, being on that island will not be worth it. For a couple of reasons. One, because 145 million. That's 145 million. It does have water and phone line hookups, which is great. But that is it. It is a massive villa. And it looks good. But realistically... That line there, those two vats, and all of these plants, and the subsequent dryers. That is pretty much, this, this setup here is overkill. It is completely fucking overkill for the amount of resources that you can actually get your hands on to actually be able to create the drugs. Uh, you... A any more than that, like, I, I struggle keeping up um, with, with, with those machines we've got. Like, I, I struggle to feed those machines uh, as they currently are and as they are currently laid out. I struggle to feed these machines and keep them going and working. Uh, especially with uh, ephedrine, for instance, the ephedrine compound. Which means if you're building a lab any bigger than this, realistically, you're going to be struggling to get all of the resources to feed it. And, like, I don't see what you're doing with the rest of the villa. Like, unless you just really like playing fucking interior designer, there's nothing much else happening. Like, there's not 
a ton of different fucking resources, uh, like different furnitures. And yes, they've added some fucking new stuff to the furniture shop, uh, furniture shop, which is great. Realistically, this isn't an interior designer game. No one's fucking coming into this game playing interior designer. And if you fill a villa, even just this one, with a whole bunch of shit, it's not... Like, y you're never going to be able to feed all of those machines. And you're never going to be able to actually make use of all those machines and keep all of that running because of how limited a lot of the things, like phenylethamine, is to get a hold of. Uh... Or, like, the iodotic acid, for instance. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you need in this game that you can only get in very limited quantities. And there's no alternatives to making your own. Like, the fennel, you can buy chocolate bars. Sure. Except the way they stack is a pain in the ass. The opium, you can buy uh, a whole bunch of fucking... Uh, sorry, not the opium. The For the fennel... You can buy cocoa powder, right? And the problem with cocoa powder, though, which, although it will get you, uh, fucking, like, it will get you, uh, fennel, right? 18 kilos of cocoa powder will make 1.8 kilos of fennel, which sounds great. Until you remember that in the last video, when we went and done a whole run, uh, and we're constantly going to the shop and things like that, cocoa powder, them bags will only stack up to two per slot. Which makes that a problem. Chocolate bars. You will typically see them about 15 or so in a shop. Pain in the ass to get. Uh, like, it <sighs> cough medicine so you can get epinephrine, or ephedrine, sorry. Uh, pain in the ass to get decent quantities of. And sure, from pharmacies you can buy fucking, you know, like, uh, the raw ephedrine as well. But even still, limited quantities. And you need to bounce from shop to shop to shop to shop to shop, hoovering up every little bit that you can, and... Even when you're doing that, you need to keep bouncing from, like, let's say you go to the shops over here. You need to come back here, don't unload everything you've got, including whatever is in your off-road, assuming you're using that because it's got the most amount of storage. You then also need to then go and do the same on this island, 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 because every single shop... You basically need to get, assuming you plan on having a decent sized lab. And even this lab here, I'm struggling to fill. And I'm struggling to like keep these all stocked with the various resources in order to keep making the shit. Like, I, I just don't see who that villa, villa uh, in that private island is for. It makes no sense to me. Um, like, sure, you could build one hell of a lab out there in one of the rooms. But realistically, you're not filling that place. And realistically, you're probably not spending the, you know, fair few hours it would take to decorate each fucking room because it's not that type of game. Yeah. And then we get on to my main problem. That right there. The Lord... The amount that it takes, sure, from like 800 odd, and we're missing out on some contracts, oh well, uh, from like 800 odd, uh, but quite honestly, I don't give a shit about this save at this point, but about 800 odd down to 550. That's still a, a fucking ridiculous amount. And the problem with that is not the combat rations, and it's not the Medicare packages, because those can both be crafted or bought. I mean, granted, whether you're crafting them or buying them, you're going to be paying like 9 to 15 mil uh, for those things. But after you've done them two, there is two more of those missions. Except those missions are not for things that you can buy or not for things that you can craft. 
They are for things that you have to steal. And you have to steal them from warehouses, specifically. Those ones over there, if I remember correctly. And the problem with that is warehouses, to my knowledge, only restock every seven days in-game. Seven in-game days. Which, to put that into perspective, is about nine hours real-time. Is about nine real-time hours to restock that. Which means it is going to more than likely take you multiple days, real-life days, to do that quest. Once. Let alone twice. And don't get me wrong. For the me for the combat rations, I'm pretty sure you can go over here into the like into the prison and fucking steal the uh the things from there. The combat rations and whatnot. But here's the thing though. Do you know how much of a fucking pain in the ass it is to get in and out of there? Let alone if you've say got an inventory full of shit so you can't run and shit like that. It is not worth it. I like this game. This game is is, is is fun. But the entire end quest needs to be reworked. Because I went and I've watched it online. And I highly suggest you do the same if you're interested. Uh, I recommend a channel called Bond Again. Uh, that's two as in the number. Uh, they put up a video showing the ending. And... It, it's shit. <laughs> it's basically a fade to black and some credits. And, like, here's the thing. I want to know what is going on over here. Because there's a dude down here somewhere that we can't talk to. There's an engineer up here, a guy called the engineer, that we can't talk to. Um, and there is also a random mysterious button we found that... Lodges a torpedo or some shit. But we can't interact with it. But here's the thing. I am taking a break from this game. Because... That fucking end quest... Has both pissed me off royally... And completely burnt me out on this game. I have no interest... In continuing... At all. Um... I don't know what the devs were thinking with that end quest, but it needs fixed. It it needs reworked. Because it, it does not make sense to me. Under any circumstances, it does not make sense to me. Um, and yeah. Uh, that, that villa, especially, does not make sense to me without a way to get a car over there. Because, you know, if, you, if you're going to go out and do... A, uh, like a, a resource run, right? Like you need to restock on a bunch of shit. Your only option, assuming you actually want some storage, is to spend about 25 mil, roughly, on a, uh, on a boat like La Belliana. Uh, because that is one of the biggest boats with the most amount of storage, right? It's got like 30 slots or something. Problem with that, though. That's 25 mil. Other problem with that, it's absolutely slow as dog shit. It only goes 50 kilometers an hour. Now, that rib, right, the boat that's parked over there that, uh, you know, we got right at the beginning of the, of the game, the first boat we bought, right, because we had the little motorboat thing, but that's fucking dog shit. Dog shit, that doesn't count as the first boat. The rib, right, the, the first boat we bought, the one we've been using pretty much all all the episodes, right, the black one, that goes like 68, 69 kilometers an hour. And that already takes far too fucking long to get around the goddamn map. Let alone, if you're a big heavy yacht, going 50, and then need to go to multiple fucking places, multiple different islands, to get all the shit. Or realistically, what's actually going to happen is you're going to need to go from here. And you're going to need to go all the way up and round to hit the coke deal, the coke leaf dealer. Right? Because you need coke leaves so you can make coke. Right? 
So you're going to need to take that big ass heavy boat all the way up and round, right? And there's no easy way to do it, right? You can go all the way up and round the left, or you can go up through here. Uh, you'd have to turn there, go that way, that way, up that way. And you can't even go that way because there's a bridge there, so you need to go all the way around. Then that way. Or you can go down the bottom and just up the middle here. Either way, it's going to take you a long fucking time, right? Then, you need to come back, drop those leaves off, and then, oh, you need other things. Okay, well, I should probably go visit the chemical shop because I need, like, acetone and shit. Well, you're then going to need to go all the way up here, run all the way up the hill, grab all the shit, walk yourself all the way down the hill, down to where you parked, and fucking ridiculously slow walk speed because, you know, uh, you start getting a bit of weight on you and then all of a sudden you're walking slower than a fucking tortoise. Um, all the while avoiding all of the fucking militia and the gangs and things like that that are crawling all the fuck over that island. And then, you know, rinse and repeat for other shops because you're going to need to go up here to go to the meth store and get some of the stuff for meth, or like uh, the idotic acid. Um, which using that helps cut down on your waist, but there's only a certain amount of bottles every day. And then you're going to need to do the same over here, so you can go up to the bunker, and so you can get uh, the f fucking fennel, unless you're just going purely off the, like, cocoa or the, uh, or the chocolate bars. But the problem with the, with the cocoa is that the cocoa bags, well, you can only stack two of them per individual slot. Which, as you guys no doubt saw in the last episode, takes a lot of fucking slots. <laughs> and I don't have the patience anymore. This game has ran its course with me. It has truly ran its course. I, I might come back and check it out when there's updates. But I, I need to give this game a break, man. Because it is driving me up the wall at this point. But between that fucking ridiculous end quest. Well, end four quests, realistically, if we're being honest with ourselves. And between just how much of a pain in the ass it is to keep on top of restocking all the shit. Like, it's just not worth it. Like, it's really fucking not. Especially not just to see the goddamn end credits. Um, and so, yeah, this is going to be it for now, for, uh, for a while, guys, because I'm done. I, I am done with this game for now. Um, and I hope you guys understand. Um, and I hope you tune in to other things that are upload, but, yeah, have yourselves a good day, everyone. And, yeah, it's just really not worth it, folks. Like, it, it's really not. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Let us know your thoughts on everything I've said down in the comments. Um, and I'm sorry for rambling for 20 minutes, but yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. It, it's Fuck that end quest. <laughs>